Sometimes these things come loose. You see how, see how it's moving. So this is my first time uh, hauling these cable coils. I just want to show y'all how I chain mines. Kind of intimidated by these loads for real when I first started, but I guess I'll give it a chance since it's my first time. Um, just got the chains pulling in the opposite directions. I'll show y'all the other side. Yeah. I drove about 50 miles. Let's go out here and um, check to see how these chains holding up. Alright, that one's still good. Tighten up this one some more. This one is straight. And tighten up this one. So the back one on the last one and the back one on that one. I'm going to go ahead and tighten these up and then. Uh, Actually, just keep going. tighten these up and then we're gonna get back on the road. All right, we good. Let's get back on this road. We'll see y'all in a minute.
just arrived. About to go ahead and uh, unchain this. Get this off my truck. Pick up this next load. All right, let's go get this next one. All right, see, we just pulled up. Let's go see what they talking about. All right, y'all, so we got to pull in that bay right there. Let's go ahead and do this so we can get loaded and get up out of here. Get up there and see real quick. Can you bring it over a little bit to the left? Just a little bit. All right, that's good right there. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna do a strap there. Strap in the middle, and a strap right there. It's gonna be kind of hard to record, there's a lot going on in there, but I gotta talk this thing too, so let me get this done so I get up out of here. All right, y'all, like I said, I just do a, uh, Two four inch straps on there and then one two inch ratchet strap. Now I'm about to uh, put this tarp on there. Alright, y'all, I got it all tarp. Yeah, I need 
did that, you know, for the access in the front. You know, y'all seen me do something like that before. And then the access in the back, throw the strap over there. Yeah, you good, man. Y'all see this damn ceiling didn't even last, man. <laughs> Wasting my time and money. Unless you know, I was supposed to do a second coat. I don't know. So we just pulled up, um, spoke to the person in there. They told me just to start untarping it and uh, strapping it. So that's what we about to do. I'm about to wait for him to come out to um, a Lotus. I want to show y'all something. Sometimes these things come loose. You see how, see how it's moving. See, I got the bolt on. Um, I don't even know what these called. I got the, I got these and they are bolt on. So what you need is like a ratchet, and this is a um, 19 millimeter socket. It's gonna fit perfect around those. You see how that one is loose? All right, y'all, so what you wanna do is, is just tighten it. Okay, one second, Charles. I gotta hold it still so it won't be shifting. One second. All right, so I got it. You're gonna need one of these anyway to be able to put those on if you go to, if you get the bolts like I got. They do got ones that's like sliding, and my trailer do have the inserts for the sliding. Um, I think they call like ratchets, but correct me in the comments, but. um. Yeah, so you're gonna need something like that to put them on anyway. So y'all have that tool when you out here on the road, cause 
those things oftentimes do come loose. All right, y'all, that's gonna wrap up this video. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. I'm not sure if I uh, gave acknowledgement to this in my last video, but I appreciate y'all for um, just getting me to a thousand subscribers. Thinking about doing a giveaway. If y'all want me to do a giveaway, just comment down below what y'all want me to give away, and then we can make something happen. I also wanna tell y'all too, if y'all ever delivering to Bolger, PA, it's an energy plant called Cairo or Cairo or something like that. When you turn and left on Creek Road, please put your truck in four by four and four wheel drive because I didn't do that and I wasn't expecting it to be like a very steep hill on that road going into the plant. But guys, let me tell you, I, my truck barely made it up that hill in two wheel drive. And you know, I didn't want to put my truck in park or nothing up like stuck on the hill to put it in four wheel drive. So I just slowly inched going up that hill. So if y'all ever deliver into that spot, man, please. As soon as you turn left on Creek Road, please put your uh your truck in four wheel drive, man. Please put it in four wheel drive. Finally got a dash cam.